Dr. Hewitt, La Artistino, back again. Today I want to talk to you about how you store your pencils. I have a variety of different cases that I want to demonstrate to you. First off, I'll show you how you get your pencils normally. When you buy pencils, you'll get them in a tin such as this. Generally this is how the higher grade pencils, as you can see mine are all out of here. The problem with these tins is they're great if you're working on a desk, but they're not very portable. And I find they tend to pop open when you're carrying them about. And even if you put an um, elastic band around them, they'll still jumble up inside a bit. Another way that you commonly get pencils, particularly the budget price pencils, is in a box. Once again, not very convenient. Some people are happy to work out of a box, but it's hard to sort of keep slipping them in and out. And if you really want to just get down and concentrate on your colouring, messing around like this, taking them in and out of a box, can be a pain. The most um, popular option that I see, particularly if you're just working on a desk, is a pot. I've got this lovely pot that was given to me as a present. I forget what was actually in it at the time, but it was just perfect for putting in my Marco refined pencils. The problem I have with this is that, particularly with the Marco refines, which don't have the self colour along the um, shaft of the pencil, it's only on the tip, is that it's hard to pick out the colours in all this mess. And I don't like turning them upside down in the pencil uh, pot, even though I'd be able to see the colours better, because I find that dulls my tips as well. I'm a bit worried about um, caring for the actual cores and having them bouncing on the bottom of the pot isn't what I like. But still, it's a good option. You could have a number of pots, um, smaller ones, each with a different colour range, and I've seen that done, that's pretty cool. And the pot's handy for keeping other bits and pieces, like I've got my stump here for blending. Don't use this very often. I've also got another blending pencil in here. That's my uh, Lyra Splendor pencil. That's sitting in there very conveniently. And I also have this little guy. I'm not quite sure where he come from. I'm not sure if he's makeup related or some kind of appliance that needed a brush to clean it. But I find this is very handy for just flicking off any dust or um, eraser rubbings that I need to get off the picture without smearing the pencils. That's one option. Now what if you want a pencil, a uh, way to carry pencils about, a bit more portable than this? Well, the first thing that you think of is a pencil case a bit like this. This actually isn't designed as a pencil case, it came with a handbag but I like it. it's nice and big and I can keep a lot of bits and pieces in here. The drawback of the pencil case, and I've got another one here somewhere to show you, this one here, this is just a little one, is that to find your pencils you've got to spill them all out to see to look through them as so. These, these I keep my water brushes in and other odd bits and pieces and um, so if you're on the go, you don't really want to be pulling them all out on the table to look at them, or you'll have to alternately just rattle around inside to find what you want. Still a little bit distracting when you just want to get down and colour if you have to keep sorting through looking for pencils. So the next option I have here is a pencil wrap. This one's made by Derwent. There are several other companies that make them and you can get cheaper ones overseas from Asia. And also there's some very lovely ones that are being handmade and I certainly support home industry. So if you see one that you like, um, do support the artist and think about the person who's creating them and think about purchasing one of those. They can be quite good quality. Inside the pencil wrap, you unroll it and you have your pencils all nicely laid out individually and you can put them in this sort of rainbow formation which is what I tend to do with my pencils and it make, makes it easier to find where all the, the colours are, they're sort of next to one another. This particular pencil wrap has a little holder for an eraser and another little holder that you can put a sharpener in as well so that's very handy. The drawback I have to say though with this one and, and I've noticed with a few other of the uh, manufactured ones is that uh, these last straps, elasticized straps, are quite big so they won't hold just one pencil, you need to put several in there and unfortunately they tend to do this, if I turn it up they fall out 
So you have to be a bit careful with those. They're still very good and as long as you're mindful of that problem, you'll be fine. And I think you can minimise that by just doing your wrap up very tightly to hold all the pencils in place. There you go, this one has a press stud um, seal, some of them have a velcro seal, some of them have buttons. Now, another one that you see me use often is this trans pencil case. Now this one is made in the US by Tran, which is a company in Portland, Oregon. It's a very high quality pencil case and it comes in a variety of sizes. This is, holds 120 pencils. The drawback is this one's quite expensive. In Australia I paid over $40 for it and that was not including the shipping. But if you open it up, it's got a very well set and high quality uh, zip. And you open it up and you've got several of these pages or flaps that you can put your pencils in. and. Um, they hold your pencils very securely. You'll find when you first get them they're a bit tight. They do loosen a little bit after a bit of wear but not so loose that anything's going to fall out. Now as you can see they come in and out just very nicely, slipped in and out. There's uh, one page here that doesn't have any of the, uh, the retaining elastics. I'm not quite sure why but the whole thing fits together nicely. This case does have one drawback as far as I'm concerned and that is the pencils that are on the outer flaps of the case here next to the, um, the sides are a bit difficult to get in and out. As you can see I have to pull that out but to put it back in I'd all actually either put it in this way with the tips down or you sort of kind of have to struggle a little bit to stick it in. It's a minor issue and generally I overcome it, it's particularly bad on this side for some reason, I overcome it by putting my least popular pencils in those straps so that I don't have to worry about it very often. But overall this is a great pencil case. I recommend it particularly for very delicate cord pencils such as Prismacolors because there's a lot of protection here. There's uh, no extra room for, for erasers or sharpeners, but there is enough room to tuck things in around the sides. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap, so I've got my pencil extender in there, and I could just drop an eraser or a, um, a sharpener in the sides here and keep everything all together. Okay, the last one I want to show you is this one that I ordered online from China. I take it out of its wrap, this is how it came. Now these are uh, come in a variety of sizes. This is the biggest one they make which holds 72 pencils. And if I open her up here, whoops, pop them out of the way, you've got a sort of like a pencil book which has a number of zippers depending on which size you ordered. If you open them up and you've got each page in the book holds 10 pencils and in this one I'll open her all up now these are referred to as pencil wallets if you're looking for them online so you've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and there's room here you can put two more here 70 72 and you can pop a two here for 74 and there's a little strap here that if you want you can put some extra pencils or your eraser and this will also fit maybe a, a sharpener or a couple of other supplies in here if you don't mind them being loose this is fairly robust it's quite a cheerful little pencil case with you know little smileys on the tags make it nice and easy for it to open I've got another one here this is a purple coloured one. They do come in a variety of colours, this one. So you can go online and choose. This one's got little beads on it. Isn't that cute? And to show you them full, I'll open up all of the little pages. And here you go. This one I've put all my Fun Stuff pencils in. And these are my Faber-Castell Classics. This is a great little case to carry around and they hold the pencils quite securely but they're easy to slip in and out as well. As you can see and in the end here I've put a little sharpener 
and a couple of extra pencils. I've got my golds and silvers there. So they're all the pencil cases that I use. Price wise, I've seen this one sells anywhere from about uh, $16 to $18 Australian, so shop around. I got this one on eBay. I think you can also order them from Amazon. But look around, you can get them usually with free shipping from China, so keep your eye out for that. And that's all the pencil cases I have to show you today. I hope you've seen something that will suit your needs. Have fun with whatever colouring project that you're on, and until next time, happy colouring!